Crypto investing, and we're back here as I'm trying to upload a video on our push to a thousand. As we're almost there to a thousand subs and partnership, and then I can get uh, Jabroni Killers is going to be live as soon as we become a, a partner with YouTube. We will have that capability to give you Jabroni Killers. Well, they'll have trading alerts, uh, buy and sell zones. I'll give you the charts that when I buy a stock, where I buy and where I sell, you can trade alongside with me. We'll have technical analysis classes from beginners to uh, more advanced traders uh anything from the beginning and it's all included in your membership with jabroni killer to where it's just all on uh when you're a member of jabroni killer you'll have access to uh, beginner classes on how to set up a technical trading chart for beginners so you can trade like vincenzo and you can trade with the probabilities and when you technical trade what you're doing is trying to trade with the probabilities and be a probability based trader to have the odds in your favor so you can have a better chance of winning and succeeding and fleece heisting and shysting uh the criminal the criminal gangsters in the market and walk away with all the fucking money right and that's what we are here to do at vincenzo's gold crypto investing and as soon as we hit that thousand subs and we can get jabroni killers live when you're a member jabroni killer for one flat easy simple super affordable for everybody payment a month you'll get trading alerts you'll get bullish and bearish indicators they'll get uh beginner technical analysis class is to set up a technical trading chart something as simple as what you're looking at in front of you and then what i'm going to show you here in this video um there will be everything from that to setting up fib circles and all the other things that you need to put the probabilities uh what moving averages to use what to look for how to diagnose a pattern how to sniff it out and play it and trade it where to buy in where to sell out where to average or average down and out out of right and it, what positions and zones to look for that's all going to be part of jabroni killer so what we got here is we uh are using our laptop our, our uh not our laptop we have an xlm video trying to upload on our laptop but it's only at 13 percent and it's been uploading for 45 minutes so we pulled out the beautiful tablet that we bought using my uh, wireless cell phone uh, uh, internet, which is faster to upload. So we're going to give you an RP video because when I'm on the go now, we have the tablet. It's not as good of a screen as the laptop, but it's... but it's close enough, right? So you can see what's going on here. And we, what we did is we just uh, hit a bunch of stuff to give you a clear chart. So you got the shit house down there in red. The orange zone is the orange support zone, right? And you can see what you got going on here. It's very simple to see. If you're just looking at this real quick, you had a falling channel and then you had a rising channel, right? And as the rising channel broke down, And you can see you had a rising channel right here on this last pump in XRP, right? You put that out, there's your lower support. And then if you put another one up here, that's your upper resistance, All right? See that you're in a rising channel, but now what you got going on here is you came up against major overhead resistance and you got a symmetrical triangle developing here. We're gonna get rid of that. You got a symmetrical triangle developing and we are in the weekly time frame, right? See that you got overhead resistance right there. And then if you find, uh, get your industry exclusive purchasing tool, you got descending or over, you got uh, uptrending underneath support right here, right? See that you have a symmetrical triangle forming in the monthly pattern up here, see that? And it's the underneath support just so happens to be where the 200 day is just coming in. So you see that you got your old high up here, which is major overhead resistance, but we're gonna get rid of that for right now. Then when we're gonna come over here, we're gonna get the volume indicator, right? We're gonna get the, the volume indicator, the volume trading range. And you can see right in the middle of our get my shit together aka last line of defense to the shit house is the major traded range right so we're going to put that in and we know 
the major trading range where you're above it, you're bullish, or if you're below it, you're bearish, is white. So we're gonna make it white. And then we're going to come into here and we're going to block it. So that's another, this is, a, this is just pretty much making a technical chart for beginners. So that's what you wanna see there. Then if you go into here a little bit more, you can see you got major uh, support right here. Oops, we don't want that in there. You got major support right here or major resistance depending on if you're above it or below it, right? You got major support or resistance depending on the side you're on this right here. So we're going to mark that. And look at that. That happens to be just exactly pretty much where you're at now. So we got that. That's This is just about as easy as it gets right here. So you say, well, what are you rambling on and trying to show me here? So here's where the pattern's going. This is coming down, and I'm going to show you why. This symmetrical triangle with the volume, let's move the shit house over here. You can see this is bearish from the start, bearish from the finish. You have a pump, pumping price, pumping volume, or pumping price, they're bullish. Dead volume to pumping volume, very bullish. So you got up to here, you got pumping price and pumping volume. It's very bullish. Then from right here, you got a pumping price and crashing volume to current date while you had an up and sideways symmetrical triangle consolidation. Do you see that? So you got crashing volume to nothing. Still today, you need a fucking monocle to see at current day the volume, right? And then you have an up and sideways consolidation after the pump with pumping volume bullish, right? And after that, you have an up and sideways consolidation, or in this case, a symmetrical triangle and crashing volume. That's very bearish, often a sign of the buyers or the bulls becoming exhausted. And the sellers or the bears are taking over the market as a rounding top is formed and the price is going to come down, right? And this is a neutral continuation pattern. But now knowing what we do know, what I've just uh, taught you about price and volume in relationship and trying to use that to predict the future direction of the price as soon as the volume comes in. Uh, this is a very critical trading rule that I've just taught you, right? And the same thing happened here. You had pumping price, pumping volume to here, that huge run up from 14 cents all the way to 90 cents. And then you have crashing volume to nothing. And if we zoom in here, Ah, I'm I didn't do that. If we zoom in here, you can see with, oops, not that. And this is the weekly time frame we're looking at. Get off that. Get, I want my industry to the purging tool. And if we zoom in, right here, 50, 80 cents was right here. And from this point on, you have an up and sideways consolidation. And if we zoom in even more, a symmetrical triangle at the top with crashing volume, telling you the price was going to break down and the price broke down, right? And that it, it, we're in another one of these same patterns, topping pattern as we were up here, right? We're in the same thing now. And this is how you figure out the technical target on this is you zoom out to give everybody, uh, that's why we always start from this far out time frame. When you're trying to build a technical chart, you have to go from the farthest out time frame that you can to build your chart and then you work your way on in to make it super simple and easy to trade this manipulated market and sidestep and audible to profitability when you're trading with a technical trading style, with a technical trading chart, with technical trading rules to make a probability based decision and trade to sidestep and uh, to sidestep and audible into profitability on a probability based way in a system and philosophy, right? So we're gonna go from the monthly to the weekly or we're in the weekly we're going to go from the weekly to the daily and then you can see this a little bit clearer and if we look at this to try to figure out uh, a targeted move you simply take from the top of the overhead resistance to the bottom of the pattern where it started to the point of a breakout and it's not that bad it's because the price it's up you got to take the, the measurement when the price is this coming from almost no money to coming up here. So it's a 73% flush, which is probably gonna come. We need to go back out 
to the weekly time frame, it's a 73% flush. So bring out our industry exclusive measuring tool. Say it even broke way at the end, which they never do. They always break before, or not always, but usually a 73% flush brings us right to the bottom of the volume indicator where the major trading is all the way down there. That's your targeted move with a little price note right here in XRP. That is your targeted move at 22 cents, right? So that's what we got going on and this is what we're gonna watch out for in XRP. Like, subscribe.